Hello fellow anglers. Here we are on this beautiful day out in one of my favorite carp fishing holes with my good friend, Bobby the Crazy Marine and carp killer. Although, just for clarification, we don't kill any carp. We catch them, photograph them, and gently place them back in the water. We think they're a wonderful species and we take good care of the fish that we catch. Looking forward to a good day today. We had some rain this morning. The pressure's down, should be a good bite. Stay tuned for more. All right, this didn't take long anglers. Here we got Mad Dog Bobby here fighting his first carp after just a few minutes in the water. There it is, right there. We're gonna net it here shortly. I'm gonna try to do this and film it at the same time. with our ever trusting Beckman long carp net. And there we go, fish is in the net. Nice fish, Bobby. Okay, come on. okay carp yeah. anglers, we've been out here about 10 minutes and have one carp landed so far. Wanted to show you the setup I'm using today. This is my Vader RS by Sonic. I bought this pole from a website called Big Carp Tackle because I wanted to try one of the UK rods to see how they performed compared to the rods I was using. And I gotta say, it's, uh, it's a great feel. It's different than the other rods. This is a 10 foot with a three pound test curve. I'm also using the new Okuma, who finally came out with a carp rod. This is the Okuma Avenger, 10 foot, with a three pound test curve. And I really like both rods. I can't say one's better than the other. What I can say is they're phenomenal for casting distances or just dropping that bait in a specific spot that's within the margins that you're trying to fish. And for those reasons, I really like it over the typical catfish rod that I was using before. Not to say that those don't work. Those absolutely work and there's nothing wrong with, you know, using a standard catfish pole if that's all you have. Um, that's what I fished with for years uh, before you kind of up in my game to uh, these rods. So we'll see how today goes. I'll be back when we have a fish Here on. Here we go, anglers. He's back. He is back, but he just doesn't want to commit yet. It's the thing about carp fishing is it does require a lot of patience. These fish can be extremely skittish. They have great eyesight. And they have to get really confident before they commit to the run, especially during early spring, late winter bite. Much different than summertime bite or after the spawn. So we'll keep an eye. As you can see, he continues to pull this line, but he's just not taken, fully committing to the bait yet. All right, we got a run going. He's taking her, we're about he to set sure the hook do. here. Sure do. Oh, fish on, there he's running. This is on the Avenger Okuma with a three pound test curve. I really like the feel of this rod. It's very comfortable. It makes it easy to play the fish. And I will tell you, I do not like this reel at all. This is terrible. This reel was from Bass Pro. 
and it's called a Tidewater and I highly do not recommend it. I will be getting rid of this reel. And here he is about to show color here. Let's see, try to show some color here. There he is, oh, he's a good sized carp. And there he goes. <laughs> We're going to peel that line. He's I got up. my drag set pretty tight. I'm running 20 pound braid for those of you who are wondering. I like to fish with carp with at least 20 pound braid, especially when we're fishing a lot of weed like we're fishing today. And I got to pull them through the weed. Here, Bobby, you can keep recording. I'll, I'll net them. Okay. That's the nice thing about having a long Beckman net. You can do this solo if you don't have a partner with you. Beauty. Just like that, anglers, that's how it's done. Another one landed, a beauty. In the net. 